Welcome crafty friends, friends back to my chan YouTube channel. I am Candy and I go by Sugar Cards. I have a quick video today. I'm using an Avery L Spooktacular Pals, I believe is what it's called. Um, I did cut them and fussy cut them and color them beforehand. Here I'm using a Your Next Stamp uh, die that I'm lining up. It's gonna create some holes in this pattern paper. This pattern paper is from my stash. I've had it a long time. So I'm just gonna line them up with my ruler and use some tape to hold them in place. The images were stamped with Brutus Monroe Raven Detail ink on some perfect blend paper. That is my favorite and I colored them with Olo markers and then I just fussy, fussy cut them out. I didn't include the coloring in my video to save some time and because I just did some basic coloring. Now that I have that all die cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and punch out the circles, well, leave the circles and put them aside for something else. And now I have these great little holes. I'm gonna go ahead and mat this, or glue this down to a black card base. This is just from Michael's, it's old card, or it's their heavy card stock. Um, you'll see several times I show how my tape gun is kind of acting up. I decided to leave it in because, you know, just so you know that people, always have some issues. So I just run some tape runner on it and center that up on my card, making sure to leave um, a little, not a lot of glue around the circles so I can tuck those little people in. And then I'm gonna use this little sanding block because I had a crack in the fold when I folded them. So now here I'm just going to kind of focus putting the little people in, the little trick-or-treaters in, and I thought it'd be fun to have the vampire upside down and then I will use some liquid glue to go ahead and put those in. While I am doing this, I will tell you a little bit about, this is the Team Tiny Hop. It is a hashtag driven hop, so you will need to click on the hashtag to see the others. It is for smaller YouTube creators, so we can try to get more people following us and subscribing to our channels. So please, um, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and go on to the next um, person and you know and check out the other hashtags um, and please I hope you enjoy us so once I've got them all kind of fiddling around I was gonna move it it didn't work I decided I am gonna glue down their heads um, I had thought about leaving them loose but I changed my mind so I'll use a little bit of this this is barely arts glue it's one of my favorite glues um, I'm gonna go ahead and add those this is kind of a quick fast card today um, next, I'm going to grab one of the greetings. I think I used spectacular greetings, and I'm going to print that on a, I'm going to stamp that on a black card scrap. I uh, don't know what, what card stock this is. I'm going to use my Tailored Expressions anti-static powder tool, and then I'm going to stamp it with the Brutus Monroe alabaster ink, and I'm going to cover it with the alabaster embossing powder and heat that up and set that. If you heard a little bit of whining there, that was my puppy. He was not very happy that I wasn't paying any attention to him. So once I get my sentiments stamped and um, heat embossed, I'm gonna trim it down. Now one thing, I just use my fingertips there to bright, very lightly touch my image down. I do that with all my sentiments because it doesn't squish them. Um, and I might have to do it once or twice, but I just tap it with my fingertips. So this is the way I heat emboss. I let the gun warm up against my arm, and then when it's a little bit hot, then I can bring it to the paper. That way it's nice and heated up. So I'm going to just use my tonic, or Tim Holtz trimmer, and I just line up the edges of the words along the plastic piece, the plastic trimmer side there, and that will give me um, a perfect edge all the way around. Now, sometimes I don't cut straight, but that's just me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler, but I figured this is a homemade card, so if it's not 100% perfect, it's okay. So we'll finish cutting that up, and then I had thought about using some foam tape, but I decided just to use some liquid glue, and I'm going to put that on. Uh, well, first here, I'm wiping off a little bit of the um, embossing the uh, the powder that's there to help with the embossing powder stick sticking the um can't think of it right now 
Um, but I let it cool before I wipe that off so it doesn't smear the set embossing powder. And then I'm just gonna use my ruler that comes with my glass mat or that I got from my glass mat to help me line this up and glue this down. I wasn't quite sure where I wanted it, but I decided that it would go kind of in the bottom third there. Um, to finish off my card, I'm going to add some gems. These are gems from Button Galore. I get them from the Brutus Monroe store. And I, um, this is the Halloween set, it's brand new. You'll see that in just a minute. I was just showing you there that that is the Sterling Aqua Pigment from Brutus Monroe. I have a little bit in a spritzer bottle that I put on the side of my glass mat there and I'm going to use it to paint the witch's hat and uh, collar, the bolts on Frankenstein and the teeth and the bow on my little vampire here, my little Dracula, and that will just give it a little bit of shimmer and shine which, you know, when you have holiday cards, no matter what holiday, they always got to have a little extra glitz or sugar, as I like to call it. And then here's where I'm going to go ahead and add my gems. Now, you'll see that I haven't even opened this yet, so I had forgotten. And so I struggled here a little bit trying to get it open while I was live. And I'm just going to use some of these black gems. I have no rhyme or reason to how I put my gems on my card. I just like to mix sizes. If I'm going to use sizes, try to equal a fairly equal amount, and I do use them in um, odd numbers. I don't always do the triangle effect, but I do try to spread them out a little bit and just what I like. So you'll see here I kind of figured out, I, I put a couple different nuns and then I decided what else I wanted to use, and I just used some liquid glue for that. Now the pickup stick thing here I'm using, a friend of mine gifted, it is used, I believe, for the little gems that you, like perler beads, I think, and um, she bought them online and gave them to me. Um, if I have a little bit of extra glue, I can use a paper or towel to usually press down and suck that up, but this is a shiny cardstock, so you'll see that it kind of moved my gems around a little bit, so that wasn't working, so I kind of pushed them back, and then I grabbed um, a pickup tool that has a plastic or silicone on the end and the point on the other and kind of just wiped some of that extra up. So to finalize off my card, I am going to put a sentiment panel on the inside, mostly because this is a black card and I don't always have something I can write with on black card. So I just took a piece of white scrap card stock and another sentiment from the set, stamped it and the stars in the middle with some Raven um, detail ink from Brutus Monroe, and then I will adhere that to the center of my panel. So I hope you enjoyed my card today, and thank you for um, joining along with us. Do you make Halloween cards? Um, if not, that's fine. You know, not everyone celebrates Halloween, or are you gearing up for Christmas cards? Have you started those yet? So thank you for stopping by, and if you would like to see more in content from me, please subscribe push the like button. You can find me on Instagram under Sugar Cards and on Facebook. And I do go live on Wednesday nights on this channel and the Brutus Monroe channel and craft. So I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.